these mirrored columns you can update on either side here. So even though this is Phoenix's email address and Phoenix is in our contacts over here, on the deal side of it, we could actually update that email address if we wanted to. One of the features that makes Monday.com so powerful is the ability to connect different boards to one another. This gives us database type functionality that we can actually connect different types of objects like deals and people and accounts that are working all together so we can get an all up view of our data. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from automationhelpers.com and we help organizations like yours get up and running on Monday and integrated to your various business applications. So inside of Monday, I've got two different boards. I've got my deals and my contacts, and we're looking for a way to connect these to one another. So if I'm working on a deal, this is a sales use case, I'm trying to track who is the champion of my deal. Who are different influencers that will help my deal get across the table for the end of the quarter? And in order to do that, I wanna be able to track those contacts as they relate to my deals. So if I go up to the top here, I can add a new column and you'll probably see connect boards as an option right here. If you don't see that present, you can click on more columns. And from here, you can search connect boards and we can add this to the board. Now at this point, we're going to select our boards and we can choose boards from across our different workspaces. Now this is really nice because you don't have to choose boards that are constricted in one way or another. You can choose it based on where it makes sense organizationally for you and we can still connect it. So in this case, I am choosing from my same demo workspace that I have. I've got my contacts and you'll notice that we have an option here to create a two-way connection. Well, with that, essentially means is there are going to be some use cases where you only want to have a referential relationship. You don't want to have a relationship between the two actual boards. So for example, let's say on my deals, I wanted to track the people who influenced my deals. And in reality, I'm never going to be over on the contact side and saying, which deals did you influence? Maybe I want to know if they're the primary contact, but I don't need to know on the contact what deals they're influencing. If that's the case, we don't need to create a two-way connection. But I would say in about 90% of use cases that we see with clients, you're typically going to create a two-way connection so you can visualize that relationship on either side, either from the deals or from the contacts. So in this case, we'll go ahead and click to create a two-way connection. We'll click to connect the boards. And right off the bat, we get the option to mirror a column. Now we're gonna do that in this video, but we're not gonna do it right now, so I'll click on doing that later. And so we see now we've got our contacts present. We have this column that we need. And if we go over to our contacts, then we also see link to deals. And this column was automatically created through that process so that we have that representation of that relationship on either side. Now you can see on deals, this called it contacts by default. On contacts though, this just called it link to deals. So oftentimes I like to override this and just call it deals. So it makes a little bit more sense for our use case. Now, if we click back on deals and we've got our contacts here, we can see that we've got some settings and we can customize our connect boards. And you'll notice that we have the ability to allow linking to multiple items. By default, on both sides of this connection, it allows us to link to multiple items. Now, if you're familiar with databases in other applications or database relationships, you might have heard something called N to N or one to N or many to many. That's essentially database terminology for how we connect different objects to one another. Now let's boil it down into its simplest terms here. When we say multiple items, if I'm on a deal, do I wanna be able to have multiple contacts that I'm connecting to? Well, if that's the case, then we want to be able to link to multiple items. But what if I wanted to have the primary contact? And so I don't want to link to multiple contacts. I just wanna say this one person is my primary contact. Well, in that case, I would uncheck this so that it's only going to let me to link to one contact. Now on the other side, on contacts, we could say, do we allow linking to multiple items? Do we allow linking to multiple deals? And that's how we get these different types of relationships. Effectively, we can say many contacts to many deals. We could say one contact to multiple deals, or we could say one deal to multiple contacts, or we could even say one deal to one contact. It's just an extension of it. Well, what's a use case where you might wanna have just a single 
one-to-one type relationship. Maybe you have an onboarding record for every client that you have. Each client is going to have that onboarding record, but you wanna keep it separate as its own separate item on its own separate board. In this case, we're gonna say, let's allow linking to multiple items here. And we can go ahead and add a mirror column. Now I added that column by clicking the button, but you could of course press the plus button at any point to add your own mirrored columns. And this is where we could say, what information coming from those contacts do we want to display that's relevant on our deals? So maybe we want the contacts email address to display. And so we can click on that. And now if we choose from a contact we have like Phoenix here, then instantaneously you'll see that that email address appears here in the mirrored area. Now, one of the interesting things here is that these mirrored columns, you can update on either side here. So even though this is Phoenix's email address, and Phoenix is in our contacts over here. You can see Phoenix and her email address. On the deal side of it, we could actually update that email address if we wanted to. So I'm gonna be careful not to actually email her by clicking on that link, but let's say that it was actually Phoenix Levy, and let's change this here as well. So we're updating that email address. Now, if I click off of here, we can still see that we've got her email address, and over on the contact side, this has now updated the email address there as well. So what's really nice about those mirrored columns is that we can update the information from either side, from either board, as long as we have that mirror set up. Now, remember we set up this connection between deals and contacts, allowing for multiple linked items on either side. So let's say for this deal number two, that we actually had two different contacts that are selected. Then what we'll notice is for the mirror, it's going to display both both of those email addresses because it's essentially aggregating. It's saying, well, you've got two contacts selected, therefore you've got two values in that mirrored column. Now let me click over on our contacts board and from here, when we have that deals and we've got that connection, we can also add mirrored columns as well. We can select mirror. And then here's where we're going to tell it what we're connecting to. We already have this deals connection. Now remember that you can have multiple different connections set up. That's why we're selecting it in this step. And now we can choose from our different data here. So maybe I wanna be able to see the deal value. And because we can have multiple deals represented here, remember how we saw two email addresses on the other side? It's gonna tell us how do we wanna summarize that information. So deal value, I'd say would make the most sense if we're going to sum them. So if there are two deals present, it's going to aggregate it by adding the values of each of those deals. So we'll click on Summit, and then now we're able to see, here's our mirror, and we should probably give it a different name like Deal Value. And then because Phoenix is attached to two of those different deals, now you can see the deal value of $192,000. And we can even click on that deal value to see the breakdown between those two deals that we have. I hope this was helpful for you to see how we can connect boards to each other and mirror the data so we've got access to all the important information we need inside of Monday. If you or your team needs help setting up monday.com, don't hesitate to reach out to automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations. Thanks.